Hello my strong strong friends. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you all through a squat focus workout. This is the exact workout that I did for my Stronger by the Day program. I think these videos are kind of nice so that you can see how I perform in the gym as an athlete and then I can kind of take a step back and explain helpful tips and also some of the coaching philosophy behind why we do what we do. If you're new here, then please do subscribe to my channel. I make videos about lifting heavy, about nutrition stuff and how you can and build muscle and lose fat and things like that and get stronger. Getting stronger is the most important thing that I talk about. And if you wanna see more workout videos, do give this video a like. This video I asked on the community tab which one you wanted to see, and it was pretty close. And a lot of you really wanted to see the overhead press and more upper body workouts. For those of you who didn't get a chance to vote and comment on that post, let me know if you like videos like this and you wanna see more like them. I used to do more of these videos, but they were like, kind of unorganized vlog style videos, but we've kind of transitioned to organize the content a little bit better. I think it is much better now, but let me know if you wanna see more of these videos down in the comments below. Hey you guys, I wanted to take a minute to tell you a little bit about our sponsor. Thank you to Care Of for sponsoring this video. Care Of is a personalized service that delivers vitamin packs straight to your door. I know for me in my fitness journey, it was sometimes confusing on which supplements or vitamins I actually needed or which ones were actually worth my money. So Care Of has put together a really quick quiz on their site to recommend personalized packs for every user. All you do is go on and answer questions about your lifestyle, your fitness goals, and your individual health needs and the quiz is really easy and super cute to follow and it ends with the suggestions on what vitamins could help you feel your best. I know at the end of my quiz, I was especially excited and interested to see the research that has been done on some of the vitamins that are recommended. The whole entire experience is just completely adorable because once you finally check out, you get a personalized pack that is sent to you and it even has your name on it, which is really exciting. I like to keep my daily vitamins in my kitchen so I can grab a pack to take during my daily smoothie bowl or if I'm rushing out the door, I know that I'm not gonna miss out on my vitamins for that day. One of the new things that I'm trying is is Ash ashwagandha, which my friend uh, Fitness IQ, if you follow him on Instagram, actually suggested to me. Ashwagandha is said to help with stress and also performance in the gym. Care of is offering you guys 50% off of your first month if you wanna try it. So get on their site and take the quiz to find your personalized recommendation. It's no cost to take the quiz if you just wanna see what they suggest. But if you do wanna order your own personalized pack, then make sure you use my discount code. The link is down in the description. Thanks again, Care of, for sponsoring this video. First, we're gonna just do some sun salutations. Don't worry if you're not a yogi, I'm not either. I, for the life of me, cannot remember what step comes before what. This is really just an opportunity to move through some sort of flow that allows you to stretch your body. Don't stress about what you're supposed to do here. This is just to get some full body movement. After that sun salutation, we're gonna move into our first warm up superset. This is a single arm face pull with an external rotation at the top. You can do this with a cable, crossover symmetry, or a band like I'm doing here. This is a great movement if you feel like you have poor shoulder mobility or have poor shoulder stability. If you feel weak in that external rotation, then this is gonna be a great movement for you. And we're gonna superset that with scap pull-ups. This is a great movement to do even if you can't do pull-ups yet. Check out my pull-up video. I posted that a couple weeks ago if you need help on pull-up strength and you wanna learn more about this movement. Our next superset includes some glute activation. So first up, we have clamshells. You're gonna keep your hips and your shoulders stacked and relaxed, and then you're going to lift your top knee up, making sure that you don't get your hips out of that position. So make sure that those hips are stacked and you're controlled and not you know, moving your whole body out to the side as you open that knee. And next, an exercise most of you are familiar with. This is a band abducted squat. We're again searching for some glute activation here. As a superset with those two, you'll definitely feel your glutes pumping. Just make sure that you're in a solid position and you're pushing out with your knees. And for our last superset for the warm up, we have curl ups. You're just gonna do two sets of five per side here. The goal here is to get primed for the hollow body position that we wanna mimic for our pull up. Press the small of your back into the floor and control float your head and shoulders off the ground and one leg off the ground as well. And hold that position for about five seconds and then rest. 
After those, we have a slow bear crawl. To get in the right bear crawl position, first get into a quadruped position and press your hands and toes into the ground and hover your knees just slightly off the ground. Slowly bear crawl, so we're not doing this for reps or anything, we're doing this for time. You're just gonna do it for 30 seconds no matter what, so you might as well make the most out of those 30 seconds that you have. Slowly reach with your opposite hand and toe and continue to crawl. Aim for stability, so try to keep your hips square to the floor the entire time and try to stay as close to that start position as you can. You don't wanna be rocking side to side. All right, now the warm up is finished. I know that warm up seems like a lot, but there's also some core work in there. There's some glute strength stuff that we're doing. It's not a waste. Those are there so that you get the most out of what I'm about to talk about next. First, we have our pull up progression. So if you're in Stronger by the Day, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if you're not in my Stronger by the Day program, I have about 3000 lifters in that group, which is amazing. It's a huge community. We're all at different pull up strength levels. So in order to make it so that everyone can follow the same program, I broke up the lifters into different levels. For me in particular, I'm working on getting getting a few reps into my max pull-up set. Right now, I can do about 12, almost 13 pull-ups, and my goal is to get finally 15 so that I can do a set of 15. So yeah, here I'm just doing five sets of six pull-ups. You can see I'm really struggling. They get harder as you go, and this movement is definitely something that can fatigue you, so you wanna make sure that you're getting enough rest in after each set. After the pull-ups, we'll be moving on to squats. Here we have four sets of five at 75%, and then the instruction is to take ascending sets. My training max right now is about 275 pounds, so I started with 75% of that, which is 205. And of course, I do warm up and potentiate to this weight. I just don't throw 205 on for my first set. The ascending sets are programmed so that we have some sort of auto-regulation in there. If you're feeling good, you can keep going up in weight, but if you're having an off day, or you know maybe you're just fatigued from other sessions, then you can just stay at that 75%. That's still a good workout. You're still hitting the minimum volume threshold that we want to keep moving you forward. After our squats, we have our first accessory superset, and we're gonna start with a band abducted lateral walk. In this movement, you wanna get in like a quarter squat position. Make sure that you're pushing out with each knee, but keep your feet parallel and continue driving against the band. We're supersetting those with dumbbell box step ups. So I'm just holding a kettlebell. We're gonna do three sets of 12 here. Um, important note here, and I actually switch out my box because this one was a little too tall. You wanna get a box that isn't too tall for you. This isn't an exercise that is measured by how high of a box you can step up. Look for something that puts your knee at a 90 degree angle. You do want to feel in full control and power as you press into your heel to stand up on the box. So I'd rather you go heavier and hold a heavier kettlebell or dumbbell than challenge yourself to get a higher box. That doesn't really matter. Uh, if you can do more weight than over more height, then that will definitely better serve you. And next for our last superset, we're gonna start with hamstring curls. The hamstring curls were a nice thing because I never get to train on machines. So if you're new here, I usually train in my garage gym. A lot of the times I will do more basic variations of movement. Here you do wanna make sure that your thigh stabilizer at the top is as tight as possible. So if you ever do get in these machines, feel free to crank that down just so that you're locked in. And of course, maintain a neutral spine. From those, we're gonna super set and go straight into a goblet squat with a three second negative. You wanna find the rhythm here. Try to evenly distribute those three seconds throughout the entire rep. That is a lot harder than what it sounds. Try to push yourself here because the workout's almost over. Going heavy in a goblet squat is something that probably won't fatigue you because you can only go so heavy, um, but it's something that really can help push you to the next level. After those goblet squats, we have our last exercise and that is the kettlebell windmills. These are a great movement if you haven't yet done them. They're gonna strengthen your core. These are also gonna help your active shoulder mobility. Um, you have to keep that shoulder really stable as you're working through those different planes. 
I think as I'm watching this video, I can see some ab definition and some oblique definition, which is really exciting, um, which is great to kind of demo where you're going to feel these. So you're definitely gonna feel them in your side body, in your obliques. Um, you want to point your toes to 45 degrees in just one direction and then load your back heel as you're pushing the hip out. So lower your bottom hand towards the floor and keep this movement slow. It's not a race, you know, you're only doing seven reps. It's not like you have to power through them. Try to go heavy, but if this is something that you're just getting started, I had a lot of our lifters, you know, start to get the movement and the feel by balancing just a shoe. Take your fist and balance a shoe on your fist and try that kettlebell or try that shoe windmill variation as you're starting to understand that movement. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed it, do give the video a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, giving it a like will let me know that I should make more. Recently, I've been doing more like in-depth tutorials on a particular movement, fewer workouts, uh, showing you my whole workout. So if you like this and wanna see more, give this video a like, comment down below so that I know. Uh, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos. I post every Friday. And yeah, if you loved this workout and you want more workouts like this, then join Stronger by the Day. Uh, it's an amazing program. It's what I personally follow. And we have lifters of all different levels who are loving it and getting stronger. It's amazing. You could be one of them too. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.